what a fantastic day it is as the nation waited with bated breath isro's chandrayaan 3 landed safely near the lunar south pole today marking a major milestone for space exploration and for india congratulations to everyone whether you're a scientist or not whether you're indian or not this is also a huge step forward for humanity Over the next 2 weeks the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover will perform experiments on the lunar surface with a total of 6 payloads while we saw earlier the 7th payload continues to observe earth from the propulsion module which is currently orbiting the moon the landing makes india the fourth country to successfully perform a controlled landing on the moon without crashing after russia or ussr usa and china Despite the unfortunate crash of Luna 25 earlier this month on August 19th, Luna 9 was the first to achieve a soft landing on the moon all the way back in 1966. There have been a total of 21 successful landings on the moon despite attempts to get there since the 50s, 60s and the 70s and now in the 2000s. NASA has been the only agency to send humans to the moon with the Apollo missions. A total of 12 men have walked on the moon, beginning with Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin in July of 1969 and ending with Gene Cernan and Jack Schmidt in Apollo 17 in 1972. Let's look at all of the successful lunar rovers and landers, what they did and who they belong to. The first mission to get near the moon was USSR's Luna 1, while Luna 2 became the first to impact the moon back in 1959. For the next few years, both USSR and USA either flew by the moon or impacted probes on it, but could not really achieve successful soft landing or even orbital insertion. In fact, Luna 10 became the first to enter orbit even though Luna 9 performed the first soft landing. 1966 onwards things changed as the Cold War space race started to heat up and both USSR and USA were dying to get to the moon. Luna 9 performed a controlled landing in 1966 while Luna 13 repeated this a few months later in the same year there were that many missions going to the moon in the 1960s and 70s the same year after Luna 9 the US landed Surveyor 1 on the surface which sent back 11000 images these images from the two Luna spacecraft and the Surveyor spacecraft became the first ever pictures to be taken from the surface of the moon USA Surveyor 3 landed in 1967 while surveyor 5 also landed a few months later surveyor 6 landed the same year while surveyor 7 did so in 1968 After several failures again in the former Soviet Union's Luna program and the USA's Pioneer and Ranger programs which all sent uncrewed spacecraft the next successful soft landing was achieved by Luna 16 in 1970 and it also performed a sample return mission it collected a bit of lunar soil and brought it back to earth Luna 17 was the first rover on the moon and it traveled over 10 kilometers on the lunar surface This was in 1970. Two years later, Luna 20 did the same thing, returned some soil to Earth, while Luna 21's rover moved across the lunar surface for 37 kilometers in 1973. Luna 24 which was the previous mission to this month's Luna 25 was a lander that reached the moon in 1976 and brought back soil samples but between 1969 and 1972 the apollo programs also achieved soft landings with humans USSR missions did not materialize but Americans sent 6 missions that landed successfully with humans and brought them back to earth safely. These are of course the Apollo 11 in 1969, the famous one then the very first one and Apollo 12 later the same year. Apollo 13 of course did not land and the humans on board this spacecraft became the ones to have traveled farthest from the earth ever. The movie is really excellent. It's one of my absolute favorites and I highly recommend it to understand what exactly went wrong with the Apollo 13 mission. Meanwhile, later Apollo 14 and 15 landed on the moon in 1971 and Apollo 16 and 17 landed in 1972. 
concluding the human missions to the moon because America declared itself the winner of the Cold War space race as humans landed on the moon. And then nothing really happened on the moon for nearly two decades. A few crash landings occurred in the 90s and the early 2000s, including probes from Japan, from US, from EU, from Luxembourg, from Israel, China, and also India through the moon impactor probe that was a part of Chandrayaan 1 all the way back in 2009. But Landing missions to the moon picked up again in the 2010s with China. In December 2013, China landed its Chang'e 3 lander and U-2 rover on the moon, performing the first soft landing after the 1976's Luna 24. In 2019, China broke a record and landed Chang'e 4, the first mission and currently the only one to have landed on the far side of the moon. It also carries a rover called U-2-2. Chang'e 5 landed and collected samples in 2020 and that was the last soft landing before Chandrayaan 3. Today, after the unfortunate loss of Luna 25, USA continues to be the only country that has sent humans to the moon and China is the only country to have landed on the far side of the moon, while right now, India is the only country to have landed near the south pole of the moon.